another Coogan and Eddie Hearn AFL TV instant classic. This has got to be right up there with the funniest Eddie Hearn interviews I've ever seen. Hearn was going in on Deontay Wilder and also going in on Fish Eyes and Anthony Yard. First of all, what he said about Wilder, well, basically he was ridiculing Deontay Wilder for refusing to go to the UK and be at the Joshua Parker fight because that's the word according to Eddie Hearn around the campfire is that Deontay Wilder won't be going to the Joshua Parker fight even though he's getting paid to be there if he wants to go Sky Sports are paying for him they're putting him in a nice hotel etc etc it helps boost his profile it helps build up a fight with Joshua but apparently because Joshua said he won't allow Wilder in the ring Wilder has taken offense to that and says he won't turn up personally I think that's a big mistake because if Joshua wins the fight and doesn't allow Wilder in the ring Wilder's gonna be on Sky Sports he can call Joshua out live on Sky Sports while he's working for them about not allowing him in the ring he can call him a coward he's got an opportunity here to expose Anthony Joshua or from a PR perspective make himself look good in front of the worldwide media so for him to turn down the opportunity if he does indeed turn it down because there's still time for him to go to the UK but if he turns it down that's a massive opportunity missed but anyway Eddie Hearn is going in on Wilder saying he's not serious about fighting Joshua saying that Wilder's team haven't made him any offers and that Wilder's going to go off and fight somebody else. He's not even going to take on Dylan White. Uh, Eddie Hearn also said he's increased his offer for Wilder to fight Dylan White. So, you know, Eddie Hearn, whether you agree with him or don't agree with him, whether you think he's just spinning a story and being economical with the truth or not, fact is, Eddie Hearn is second to none when it comes to banter <laughs> he is the undisputed banter champion he is the archbishop of banterbury that's who eddie hearn hit eddie hearn is then he went on to talk about the recent afl interview with fish eyes fish eyes was asked by coogan about the possibility of anthony yard now facing Callum Johnson since Johnson has beaten Frank Bullioni. And he tore Fish Eyes a new one over Fish Eyes' response. Now, Eddie Hearn says he is going to make a formal offer to Fish Eyes and also to Anthony Yard's manager for a Johnson Yard fight. Johnson is the Commonwealth and British light heavyweight champion. But to be fair, in offering. Anthony Yard, a Callum Johnson fight, he's exposing the fact that he was protecting Frank Bullioni from Anthony Yard. Oh, yes, he was. He didn't want, he was coming out, he was acting like Fish Eyes is acting now. Because when Fish Eyes was asked by Coogan about the potential of Yard facing Johnson, Fish Eyes got all cagey. He got all vague about what he was going to do with Anthony Yard. Yeah, definitely. I noticed that. Did you guys not notice that? I'd be surprised, judging by Fish Eyes' response, I'd be surprised if Anthony Yard versus Callum Johnson happens anytime soon. But again, Hearn was in this position with Bullioni. Hearn and certainly Don Charles did not want Frank Bullioni to step in the ring with Anthony Yard. So I guess the tables have turned. <laughs> now it's Fish Eyes not wanting Anthony Yard to step in the ring with Callum Johnson. And maybe even Tunde Ajayi potentially not wanting Yard to step in the ring with Johnson. Again, whatever the case may be, whether you agree with Eddie Hearn or not, the way he comes across is hilarious. He was like a full-blown megalomaniac in this particular interview. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about Eddie Hearn's face in the interview is making me laugh. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. There's a link in the description below if you ain't seen the interview. It's one of Eddie Hearn's best. I've been saying for a long time, whether you think Eddie Hearn is a slimy so-and-so or not, in terms of being a promoter, promoting the sport of boxing, beating the drum as he calls it, banging the drum, getting his face around, screaming from the rooftops about his fighters, Eddie Hearn is one of the best promoters I've ever seen. And I've been following the sport of boxing since the 80s. Hearn is a fantastic promoter. Yes, he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Yes, he's had the privilege of starting way ahead of the pack because of the fact that his dad was a boxing promoter and his dad is a millionaire. So yes, he's had advantages other promoters ain't had. But Fisheye's sons have had those advantages too, but you don't see Fisheye's sons turning into incredible promoters. You don't see Don King's sons turning into incredible promoters. I don't know if Bob Arum has got any sons, but if he does, are they incredible promoters? Just because... Eddie Hearn was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. It don't mean he's not good at his job. Because he is. He's very good at his job. (laughs) And having the gift of the gab is part of what is required to be a good promoter. And very few promoters out there, if any, can match Eddie Hearn when it comes to the gift of the gab. Whether he's talking rubbish or not, He has a way of selling fights and selling his position very, very well and promoting his fighters. So, yeah, check out the interview. See what you guys think for yourselves. (laughs) Again, you can disagree with everything Eddie Hearn says, but from an an entertainment standpoint, you see, I like to be entertained and Eddie Hearn entertains me. I do disagree with things that he says. I do call him out on his hypocrisy from time to time, but I also give him credit for the good things that he does. And from an entertainment standpoint, Eddie Hearn for me is second to none (laughs) certainly when it comes to promoters and even including boxers he's right up there with the most entertaining people anyway let me know how you feel in the comment section it's happening I'm out